The Toronto Maple Leafs and the St. Louis Blues made a deal today. Toronto trading away Alexander Steen and Carlo Koliakovo for the St. Louis Blues, Lee Stempniak. I heard this trade almost didn't get approved. I actually think I know why. Well, Mr. Fletcher, everything's fine with the trade aesthetically. It's just this doesn't look like your handwriting. Oh, it's a Brian Burke reference. <laughs> I don't get it. Kind of an odd trade at this point in the season. Is your reaction anything like mine? Huh? Kuliakovo getting traded, okay, yeah, you could kind of see that coming because after all, they had all those defensemen. But Steam, if you remember uh, the brief stints John Ferguson Jr. had as an analyst on TSN, he said something along the lines of, well, uh, you know, mumbles and grumbles, and uh, you shouldn't trade away Alex Steen. He made a list of players the Leafs absolutely should not trade, and Alex Steen was on it. And coming their way in return is a still fairly young Lee Stempniak. Here's how I feel. Number one, is it not so ironically fitting that Carlo was injured when he was traded? The poor guy, in his tenure as a Leaf, this is pretty much every newscast about Carlo Koliakovo. Uh, okay, I'm just getting a live report that Carlo Koliakovo went riding his bike, forgot to wear his helmet, and while riding his bike, was attacked by a bear. Oh, we're now getting a report that Carlo Koliakovo was climbing a set of stairs, lost his balance, and the stairs set on fire. Uh, okay, that's strange, but uh, okay, yeah. Carlo Koliakovo was in his backyard making a snowman when it magically came to life, punched him in the face, and somehow Carlo's pregnant. And it just kept going like that. I mean, the poor guy, he was drafted 17th overall a few years ago. A lot of people forget that. When it comes to injury-prone people, I mean, it was like Wiley Coyote, Carlo Koliakovo, and Super Dave. Number two, the main argument a lot of people had for keeping Steen was that he was a good penalty-killing forward. The problem with that is since he's come onto the team, the Leafs have been awful at killing penalties. This year, they're still in the basement. Now, wait, 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 wait. That is not Alex Steen's fault. Can we just get that out of the way right now? But it gets more and more difficult as time goes on to say he is a good penalty killer when his team cannot penalty kill. That being said, not every player gets traded away because he's bad. I personally don't think that's the case in either Carlo's case, Steiner's case, and you know what, even Stepniak. Number three. On top of having the only dangle jersey, I am now the only number 10. Interesting point. In getting Stepniak, the Leafs trade away two former first round picks. Stepniak, however, he's got 13 points in 14 games, and he's got 11 of those points in the last seven games. And only three of his points are goals. In terms of money, it seems to be pretty even right now, and it makes sense for the Leafs, but I'm told next year Stepniak's salary is set to go up. Something I will point out, Stepniak has never had a plus season yet in his NHL career. Last year, he broke even, which was his best season in that department, but the last few years he's been playing for the St. Louis Blues. So what happens here? It was a three-way swap of relatively young players, Leafs get a little extra scoring punch up front, and the Blues score a couple potential diamonds in the rough. Steen has shown flashes of brilliance, and Carlo, when he can stay in the lineup for a prolonged amount of time, can be pretty good. And something he has shown is if you come down the ice the wrong way, Carlo can deck you. Look up for Tuzzi and Garen. They know. Only question left is what am I supposed to do with this? Can I sell this to someone in Missouri? I don't know. I'm curious to know what you guys have to say about this, so leave me a comment or send me a message on leafspace.com. Either way, the Leafs are losing two good guys, and of course the Blues. I really don't know much about him, but I'm assuming he's good. All I know is I can't wait for the Saturday because I want to hear Don Cherry mispronounce his name one more time. Alright, now look! Carlo Colavacchio, here's the guy I tell you when he kicks the Ontario eyes, I mean, yeah, toasted taste better. How do I get this off? I'm not sure who Colavacchio was, but I'm gonna miss him. So, Steen, Colavacchio, have fun in St. Louis, guys. You're gonna be missed. Owen Lee, welcome to the jungle.